Hi, I'm Katie Prince. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I set up a really simple blog using Notion and Super. Um, so if you have wanted to start a blog and it just kind of feels like either it's going to be a real faff um, or it is going to be, it's going to require like an expensive software or what have you. This is how um, I've set it up in Notion so that I can literally write my blog posts in Notion and then publish them to my blog with just one click, just literally ticking a box. It's saving me so much time. So first of all, um, I have a site built in uh, Notion and using Super. So Super is a really great um, piece of kit, which means that you can build simple websites with nothing but Notion. So you literally make your pages in Notion, you connect them um, with Super, and then they are published as a website. So this is what mine looks like. Um, this is just a Notion page, and then Super kind of um, makes it into website format. It adds a navigation, it means that you have a home page, um, and you can add in yeah, it's very, very simple, but you can make a few bits and pieces. And I'm going to be talking about my journal today because this is the new blog that I've just created. Um, and yeah, it's really, really simple. This is powered by a Notion database. Um, this is the same place that I'm drafting my blog content. Um, and it just makes it so much easier to publish and really reduces that friction. Okay, so we're in like the Notion version of the page that I was just showing you right now. It is just a straight up Notion page. I've got, um, there's the title, I've got my H1, I've got my H3, and then I've got a little bit of intro and image there. Obviously, these are all just regular blocks in Notion. And then what I've done here is this is a, um, this is a, database with gallery view enabled. Um, so if you wanted to create one of these, you just hit forward slash um, and then go and then scroll down and you would select um, gallery database inline and that's going to give you a new gallery and it's going to come up like this. Obviously, I've made a couple of edits to mine so that it looks like a blog. So I will show you what I've done there. I'm just going to just going to delete this um, cuz this is the actual um blog page. So basically what I've done is first of all I've added a filter on here and um I have added a uh little filter where I've created a field called published is tick. So you'll um yeah, if I click new, then it will automatically have published ticked. I would just untick that. And if I'm working on a draft, then I can just be working on that. And then whenever I'm ready to publish, I literally just click this and then it's going to be live there and then, which is super cool. So that's the filter I've got on there. Then I've also got a sort on there so that it's created is ascending. That means that my most recent um, entries are going to be there. Now, obviously this is very new, but once I've got a few um, more posts up, because at the moment I've only got three live, um, I will also add, um, I will go to group and I will group these by tags um, and I will organize those appropriately so that people can like browse by uh, by topic. Um, but I'm not going to do that for now um, because there are only three posts and I don't really think it's necessary. <laughs> So let me just show you a little bit of um, what's in there. So basically, I've just got my emoji here, which is what's coming up uh, there. I've got my title. I then also put the title again here um, because I've got a little piece of code enabled through Super that means that it uh, removes or like everything basically above this line. Um, when you open the page so that it looks more like a website and less like a Notion doc. I've got this uh, published, which is just a checkbox, which I showed you the image. Um, and then I've got some tags in here. So I created these are the tags. These are the topics that I write on on my blog. Um, you can create your own tags and then select those. 
And then, yeah, this is just an example of what it looks like to be popping one together. Um, and yeah, it just looks like a normal blog post. You literally just write everything in there. If I wanted to like put in an image or embed a video or anything, you can just put all of your content into that Notion page and everything on there is gonna get published as the blog. Um, at the bottom, I've got a link to go back to journal main page and then also a link to connect with me. And I've also just put in, I've embedded my tally form there for if anyone wants to get on my newsletter. And then I've also got at the bottom here, this is a um, filtered view of my journal entries so that if someone wanted to read more entries about leaving social media, um, what I've done to create this is I've gone forward slash and then I've typed in CR, I've done create linked database. So this is like linking to the main journal um, or the main blog. And then I've um, added that in and I've just put a filter on there where tags contains similar, like leaving social media is the theme for this blog. So, you know, other blogs that have the same theme and published is tick. So if I were to type one about business, then I would have read more journal entries about business and I would put the filter of tag contains business, right? makes sense. So I just wanted to also show you how else I'm using a linked database. So over in my private pages, I've got this little page called draft journal entries. And in here, I've done the same thing. I've created a, um, a, I've gone forward slash CR, created a linked database, and then I've searched for um, journal entries. And then, yeah, you would just select that database and it's going to pull everything in there. And what I have done is so that I can see what's published and what, yeah, so these ones are published, these ones are not published, is I've gone um, into, uh, what have I done? I've gone into properties and then I've gone, um, no, I haven't gone into properties. What have I done? I've gone into group. <laughs> I've gone into group and I have grouped it by uh, published and then I've just you could drag these around if you wanted them in a different order but so that I can see my draft um, journal entries the ones that I'm working on without having to kind of mess around with what's on the website and like unpublish and publish things so for example I've got um, this one is a draft that I've recently uh, started. Oh, wow, it really is in bare bones draft. I've just got the um, title, but this is the next piece that I'm going to be working on. And so whenever that's ready, I literally just click publish and then boom, it's on the website. Uh, so yeah, that's how I have the blog set up.